of Jesus into Jerusalem to observe the Passover of the Jewish people, Palm Sunday. I'm glad you're with me this day, and I invite you now to share with me our call to worship. Let us share together. So they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their garments over it for him to ride on. Then the crowd spread out their coats on the road ahead of Jesus. As they reached the place where the road started down from the Mount of Olives, all of the followers began to shout and sing as they walked along, praising God for all the wonderful miracles they had seen. Blessed be the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest heavens. From Luke's Gospel, the 19th chapter. And as we gather this day, share together a moment of welcome. I'm glad you're here to share this viewing with me and be a part of it. A word of hello, how are you this day? A word of well-being, that you are okay in body, mind, and spirit. And a word of faring well this coming week as we journey from Palm Sunday through Holy Thursday to Good Friday to Easter. A word of peace, a body mind and spirit. It is the Hebrew word that Jesus said at the resurrection as he spoke to Mary and the other women gathered there, Shalom. May that Shalom give you peace, welcome, and well-being and faring well this coming week. I invite you now to share with me, Shalom, Shalom in Christ, Shalom. And as we share that Shalom, we light a candle, the Christ candle. To remind us that the light of God shines for us. The light shines in the darkness to give us shalom. And the darkness can never put it out. Amen.
as we begin our time together, I invite you now to share with me our prayer preparation. Let us pray. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, we bow before you today and thank you for the miracles that touch our lives. Every day we rise and begin a new chapter. Every day is another blessing, a charge to keep. Every day presents a challenge to do our best. Every day brings hope for a better tomorrow. And with that hope, we can spread and share the light of your grace and love. We thank you, Father, for all this and all the blessings. In the name of Jesus, amen. lesson for this Palm Sunday is from John's Gospel telling of Jesus' entrance into Jerusalem on that first Palm Sunday. It says this, The next day, the great crowd that had come to the festival heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it. As it is written, Do not be afraid, daughter of Zion. Look, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. May God add blessings to the reading of his word and bring blessings to those who hear this written word, this spoken word, and transform it into the living word in their hearts and minds and spirits. 
This is a Sunday, Palm Sunday, of remembrance, preparation for the most important celebration in the Christian faith, the resurrection of Jesus, overcoming the power of death, to give us life here and forever. On that first Palm Sunday, Jesus comes to Jerusalem to observe the Passover of the Jewish people. A very important and significant celebration. It is a reminder to them and an affirmation of, to them. A reminder that they were freed from bondage and slavery and an affirmation it was by God's guidance and hand that Moses led him out of Egypt into the promised land. It was a time of joy, hope, expectation. It is, and still is, a family affair. Jesus comes to Jerusalem. He rides in. And the people hear he's coming. Also that Lazarus, who he has raised from the dead, is coming to be with him. And they want to see both. The wonder worker and the wonder, so to speak. What they're like. And as they're coming into Jerusalem, a crowd gathers. I assume many were followers of Jesus, who took palm branches, a symbol of well-being, peace, protection from the sun, and their own coats, and threw them on the ground that he may process into Jerusalem. Today, we remember that event as a beginning beginning of hope for us. The palms are a symbol of Jesus' coming to us, presence with us, to greet us, to welcome us, to abide with us, as he goes to share with us this day a meal, a meal that reflects his presence, his gift of life for each of us. So on this, on this Palm Sunday, I invite you, if you have a palm at home, to lift it up and to wave it. To symbolize for you and for all of us, Jesus is coming, coming to be with us. And to place it a place of importance in your house, at home. Prepare the way for Jesus to come to you, to be with you, to support you. And on that Easter morning, to greet you with shalom, peace, well-being, hope, and strength. Palm Sunday is the beginning of our journey of faith. Holy Thursday is the affirmation of our faith. Good Friday is the reflection of Jesus' sacrifice that we might have life and have it abundantly. And Easter is the day of shalom, peace, well-being, and faring well in our lives' journey. Because Christ comes to walk with us, to talk with us, and tell each of us we are his friends for all time. God bless you this day. God keep you this day. And I look forward to joining us on Good Friday and then again on Easter. God bless you and keep you this day. And as we gather this day, we celebrate a meal, a remembrance of that first Lord's Supper, the Last Supper, as I call it, the first supper of our Christian faith. That after Jesus had entered in Jerusalem, they went to an upper room which had been prepared for them to observe the Passover. It's not just that the disciples or apostles were there, but I am sure that his family was there and friends were there. 
both male and female, to share that meal together. It is a family celebration. And on that night, as they observed that meal, that upper room, Jesus took two elements of that meal. First the bread and broke it. And as was passed among them that night, and is passed among us this day, Jesus said these words, This is my body given for you. To take and eat in remembrance of me. That we take in this body as a source of nourishment, not only of body, but of mind and spirit. That Jesus is with us and within us through the present Holy Spirit. And then that evening he took a cup. It is an ancient symbol in the Hebrew faith of the presence of God. And that night he lifted up the cup and said these words to those gathered then that night and to each of us gathered here this day. This cup is a covenant in my blood given for the remission of sin. Take and drink you all of it. Not only forgiveness, but the overcoming of it. To have a source of energy but it's a source of life, a source of energy for us to share together. So I invite you now at home to take a piece of bread and a cup and share with me these words. The bread of life given for me, the cup of the new covenant shed for me. As we gather for prayer this day, let us lift up remember the children and the teachers who were murdered in that tragic incident in Memphis, Tennessee, and to lift up in prayer those who are mourning their passing of their deaths which should never have occurred in this nation, and to bring those kinds of changes we need to bring this kind of safety to each one of us. Also this day to lift up your needs in body, mind, and spirit, and to lift up prayers and meditation as we journey to the great good news of Easter. Jesus lives and lives for us. Let us pray. Gracious God, we know that in the beginning was the word and that, was, that word was with you, and that word became for us the living word of Jesus, who is our Christ and our Savior, who came to us at a birth as a child and journeyed with us in his ministry, his outreach, back in those days, but also this day to touch our lives to be with us and care for us and to hold our hands and put his arm around our shoulders when we need it. As we lift up this day, this Palm Sunday, the good news that was entering into Jerusalem is the beginning of a journey that ends and indeed begins with Easter. We remember the children and the teachers who were murdered in Memphis, Tennessee not celebrate this week, this year, to lift them up, to remember them, and to pray for their families, their friends, who are mourning their loss, that your grace be with them, your shalom upon them, and guide them. We pray that there be wisdom in this nation, that these kinds of events which are now occurring so often, will not occur again. That people can live in true safety, true freedom, and true security, wherever they may journey and wherever they may be. 
This day as we gather and look forth to the coming of the week, we ask your blessing to be with us each and every day, to guide us, to give us assurance, to give us faith, to give us courage. We pray this day for our needs in body, mind, and spirit, that you are our strength, that the breath of your spirit is within us to give us life. We pray for loved ones and friends who we know, who need a prayer, who need care and concern. And we pray to say also that wherever there is animosity in our lives, we can overcome it and bring hope and expectation and assurance and reassurance to all those around us that we may know the true nature of faith, the good news of faith, the guidance of faith, hope and love that this journey to Easter gives to each of us. Be with us this day, bless us this day, and guide us as we go forward to hear the Shalom of Jesus on Easter Sunday. Amen. I invite you now to share with me the prayer Jesus taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. I am glad you have been with me this Palm Sunday. Have a joyous day. And I look forward to you joining us this coming Holy Week on Good Friday, on our noontime meditation, and on Easter Sunday as we share the great good news. Jesus lives and is alive for us this day and each and every day. And I invite you now, as we close our time together, to share with me our benediction. Blessed be the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Go in peace. Amen. <laughs>